Hello everybody, I know you're here because of this. Maybe you've seen yourself like this and you thought never again, or maybe your headaches have gotten so bad that it's time to finally take action. So we're here to take action. Before I go over why you have forward head posture and all of those little bits of insight that I hope is just gonna reinforce your motivation to correct it, I wanna go straight into the exercises. So I want you to find a wall. When you find that wall, you're gonna bring your shoulders up, back, and down. Now, you're gonna notice your ribs might wanna flare out, but you're gonna bring them in, and if your shoulders don't make it all the way in the wall, that is just fine, do not worry. The next thing you're gonna do is just appreciate how this might be a little bit tight, and appreciate how there's probably gonna to need to be a little bit of a squeeze in between your shoulder blades to find that connection. Now you are feeling really foreign, and strange in your body, I'm assuming. I want you now to lengthen your neck and your head may or may not reach the wall. I don't want it to reach the wall like this. That's really, really important. I want it to lengthen and you can put a pillow behind your head. That's a nice cheat if you have a struggle to reach the wall. All right. So now that we're against the wall and you're thinking to yourself, what in the world has she got me doing this? Does not feel good. Surely this can't be the way to correct it. I'm here to tell you it is. What have we done? We have not retracted. We have not done this because that'll just create more tension. We have lengthened. So if you're in the retraction camp, if you're creating stiffness in your the extensors here in these muscles, then I want you to soften that up even if your head comes off the wall. Trust me, it does not matter because you will get there eventually. Now I want you to feel that stretch here. You can give yourself a little massage if that feels nice, but know that that has probably gone a little tight for you. And then we also need to release that to create better alignment. We're, we're talking about stacking blocks in a way where we move effortlessly or where we move more efficiently. That's what alignment is, and that's what we're here to do. So now in this position, if you've noticed that something else feels awkward, like you've kinked your lower back, I need you to see if you can find some pelvic tilt. Now, I'm going to do another video about pelvic tilt because this is difficult for a lot of people. Tucking the tailbone under or trying to imagine bringing the pelvis, the pubic bone, in towards the navel. That not everyone can do, but you want to find some neutral alignment there because if your bum is stuck out, then it's going to be really awkward to find this posture. So here we have our beautiful alignment. So all you need to do now is stay here all day and you're good. Give yourself one week. Just kidding. So obviously we have to find a way to mimic this posture that's going to build itself over time. And because this is as much brain training as it is muscle training, I want you to do this repeatedly throughout the day. I mean, every hour, I want you to find a wall, do this, spend 30 seconds here, and you will get some results within a couple of weeks. Will it be perfect? Nope, there is no perfect, really, there isn't. But you are going to be way further ahead if you do this. Now, what else do we need to do here? Is this the only thing we need to do? Well, in a sense, what we've done here is we've activated our deep neck flexors. So that's great by tucking that chin in, that's like the core of the neck. We've stretched the pecs, we've relaxed these muscles here, and we have activated the middle fibers of the traps, so those muscles that keep the shoulder blades down. So we're doing pretty well. But what we haven't done is possibly corrected maybe a fault in your breathing. So if you don't feel like you're breathing deeply here, it might be because you're used to breathing like this with your chest and then these muscles also kind of being used to lift your clavicles up and breathe. Accessory muscles of breathing is what they're called when we want our diaphragm to do the job. But in order to do its job, it's got to expand out through the rib cage. So either against the wall or on your own, I want you to practice deep breaths, feeling your rib cage open up. And if you're not used to doing this, you might be like, um, it's not moving at all. What is she talking about? I don't understand. And if it's not moving at all, I want you to keep doing it until it does. 
So it's like an accordion. I want you to even visualize an accordion moving in and out through space, letting the beautiful diaphragm do its job. So this exercise is going to be really helpful. You are also going to want to think about the ergonomics of your chair at work. You're going to want to think about how often you feel like you need to be here. So maybe we need to have the monitor closer. Maybe we need a better chair so you can relax back in the chair. What do we need to do to support you? Now know this, if even if you are the most brilliant and emotionally aware person, you will likely make a couple mistakes. I'm not promising you, you, you'll make these mistakes, but it is so very common. And so I want you to expect that you will so that you can expect to correct it. Many people will just come back to this tension point here and want to be so flat here that they end up kinking here and causing stress here. The other thing that people will do is hold their neck back and then they might complain of even more discomfort and tension here. So I want this to be subtle and it doesn't have to look perfect. It really doesn't have to look perfect because perfect does not exist. Posture is not about rigidity. It is about mobility. It is about efficiency. And so not everybody's best alignment has to look like a dancer's. In fact, we need a little bit of curve for shock absorption through the upper neck. So we need this little bit of curve. We wouldn't want to be, I don't, gosh, I can't really create that straight, straight, straightness, but we need to have a little bit of a curve here because then we have this S-shaped curve. And as we bounce along in life, this absorbs shock, this absorbs forces through our spine in the best way possible. Are there other exercises that we can do? Absolutely. How are we going to create more stability in the back to help support our forward neck posture? There's many ways to do this, and it's really going to depend on you how I would recommend that we do this. But right now, I'm going to show you a couple of ways. The first way is to know that, okay, it's fine to find this posture and this strength when our arms are down, but what happens when we come overhead? And so when we come overhead, quite often, we don't have a lot of Good mobility in the shoulders so we end up then doing what bringing our shoulder blades up like so and reaching up like that so to the extent that that is you and you don't have good mobility in your shoulders I want you to do this exercise as well so you continue to squeeze your shoulder blades together bring your rib cage down from this flaring position that usually maybe not for you but usually it wants to do and let your arms reach 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 up and come all the way back down it's going to feel like a nice stretch Hopefully it'll feel wonderful. The next one that you're going to do is now use gravity. So you're like in like a ski jump position. So you're kind of coming forward, core is still engaged. Don't think you can see me, so I'm gonna give you a better camera angle here. And you're bringing the shoulder blades back and down here, but now you've got weight. For some people, I'll give them five or 10 pound weights and they're gonna really feel it in the back of their shoulders, but I want your neck to be completely relaxed here as you do this. And you're gonna get so much more strength Again, try not to hinge here through that because that's not going to create the stability that we want. So that's it. That's what I've got for you. Do I give people other exercises? Absolutely. And it has to be individually tailored for you. I do intramuscular stimulation, which is dry needling. Um, for the neck specifically and for the upper chops, which I find is really, really helpful. I will also do massage and mobilization of the joints. So it's usually a combination of things that can really correct this. And then the other really important thing is just to sometimes <sighs> take a breath, do a body scan, and come back to those principles that either I or your physiotherapist taught you and find just a better center of mass through your body and that feeling of, I can let go and keep myself stable. Awareness is huge in this journey to a better posture. I'm gonna do a little fast forward of my before and after just for fun, just for kicks today. So literally I was like this at the age of 20, years of basketball and who knows what else in genetics. And then slowly over the years, I feel like it's one of those Neanderthal pictures I brought my shoulder blades back and down, found my center of mass a little better, and my core. 
and oh, a little bit more elongation through my neck. And now I mostly, 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 mostly live like this. But I will tell you in my clinic, I'm often just checking in the mirror because if I'm mobilizing a joint and I'm here, this is kind of tempting. So even with a way better posture and having been along that journey, I think we always have to take a moment to do a body scan and check in. I hope that you enjoyed this, that you got something out of this. I want you to know that this can change. It did for me, uh, but it is hopefully not going to be just a slow linear path. You'll hopefully make some really good gains at first, but then it is going to take some attention over time. The beauty of this is that with that attention over time, you get to learn more about your body and you'll find that other things that you do in your life become a lot easier. Thanks for joining. Please subscribe. I'd love to share more content with you and get to know you as well. So if you do subscribe, leave a note in the comments where you're from. Thanks so much.